Hi guys, I wish to take you through 2013, that is 2014, sorry, KCSE paper 2. Basically, this is how the paper practical that is looked like. We had the Singlen Cream Limited uh, Konanzuri. Therefore, you are supposed to type this document as it appears, and therefore, Singlen Cream Limited is a waste management company. They have new services which they would wish to introduce to their clients through a letter. An invoice for previous services offered will be attached to the letter. The following is a letter and an invoice to, the, uh, to one of their clients. Therefore, this is what you are supposed to create. And if you are keen, after typing this document, uh, Beatrice Lembele, general manager, is borrowed and also called item description per unit. Also, new waste management services and also this part here. Therefore, basically, I have already typed that document. Therefore, let's just go to the questions. Uh, using a word processing package, create a document with the, uh, with the following as the, as, okay, create a document with the following as they appear, the letter, the invoice, and then save the document as Singren, 42 and a half marks. Then copy the content of document named Singren into a blank document, save it as new Singren. Convert the data in in the columns, code this uh, into a table without retyping. Therefore, then you are supposed to calculate the total and the grade total of the invoices. And therefore, basically, uh, what you are supposed to do, uh, we have this part here, uh, this part, the, that is the Singren, this one. Uh, therefore, you need to use a word that, that is for office. Uh, 2017 and those ones which support the uh, which support the that capability therefore you are you are supposed to have that one and also you need to write the the name limited and therefore you are supposed to go to insert word that for that case then you insert singren singren crane that way then you can can get a font that uh, is a bit, uh, that is font that uh, is narrower. Then after doing that, you need to go to text wrap here and then you bring this in front of text so that you can be in a position to move it uh, as you wish that way. Therefore you need to do something about it. If after having the, that is the singlen, singlen crane uh, that way, uh, you need again now to uh, go and uh, let me just have it edit this therefore after doing that we just try to see yeah let's use that therefore after having this here we also needed to have remitted here. Therefore, you need to draw that error. This error is drawn. Oh, there is that. Then there is also this other in here. Then you you drop you drop this line to you you hold shift. Then you group that one group that line there then you click on it you click on that line then go to format shape then weight you can add the weight of the line then of that error then after doing that one you now can take a text box here and you can take a text box and then type the rest We have remitted, remitted, small letters, remitted, then shape out train, no out train, but this one should be somewhere.
somewhere there. Single and limited. Yeah, good. Some something of the sort. Something of the sort limited. This is the question paper limited. Then after doing that one, you can also take another text box shape. You take a text box, then make it uh, it's down here. The text box should have should be at the following. This one. We need to have a text box somewhere here. With that, we will select all. Make sure no space. No space. Then make it bold. And also take it to somewhere there. Then go to format shape of train no train that way therefore now we have created the logo this logo the way it is there then after having done that one after having done that one you can now make sure this one is done it is readable then the next thing uh, is that uh, we have this bold and underlined therefore you also go to that point here you highlight this one you underline and you bold that way but this one should be up uh, should be togo case not togo leader but should be capitalize each 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 word of every line that way then after doing that you go to this point here this one we have this this one this one should be capital letter that is f should be capital letters and also this i should be capital letters that way then from there this one should be capital letters also this one uh, that one should be capital letters the way it looks like then uh, after that doing that one this one should be times new roman times times new roman hopefully it has not affected our stuff there therefore this is times new roman then after doing that one uh, you can proceed now to the next one the next one is the invoice therefore we are supposed to create this exactly the way it looks like here Therefore, here you will make sure that you have one column, uh, one row, also one row. But the best thing to do this one is to draw. It is to use the the draw method. Therefore, the draw method will be very appropriate here. And the draw method, you need to go and draw the invoice. Therefore, you just need to go to insert table. Then, sorry, then this one. Then you go to draw and then you draw it like that so that you can be in a position to go about it that way. Uh, where you mess up, you can undo. Therefore, I needed to do that one. Then I also do that one. I also do another one like that. I also do another one like that. Then uh, from there, you, uh, you can be in a position to do. Uh, that is from here uh, should drop to should drop to also should drop to where you mess up you undo should drop to she should also drop to that way then from there we have uh, this line there then after having that line you can now again make sure that uh, you, ha you have another line there That way. Then go back to this point, take the drawing pen, the drawing, drawing, draw pen. Then from there, um, you can just, you can just uh, draw another one, and also another one, and also another one. Then now from here, you just drag, draw that one going down. And also draw that one going down, and also 
uh, another one here. Now oh, here you need an eraser to remove this. Then take the draw like that. Then after doing that, you you now you can just now go to the, this point. Like now, I want to shade this. If I just go to design here, then you take the shading. Like now, that one should be black. This one should be black. Then make sure that the font there home. The font is white here so that whatever you type here should be white in color yeah so that's basically how you go drawing that one and then uh, once you draw it will be complete like this one therefore you just need to format by clicking on this then going to times new roman make sure everything is times new roman but this text here should be closer to each other this one therefore just choose no spacing then centered good like that but this one is times new roman should be times new roman like that then after doing that one this one here you need it to you need to go to layout sorry design here just a moment we need to have this one uh, applied with uh, text direction therefore you go to this point text direction you click and then it is, it is centered so you need to choose somewhere there you see what i'm doing i'm actually utilizing this part here this is what i'm utilizing here this one it's very important in that you can see i have used the text direction this one i have used this text direction and then i have used this one here this one so that's how you were supposed to go uh, about that one then uh, you also need to to have this one uh, centered this one should be also centered like that also this one should be centered uh, like that then after doing that one you need to have another line here therefore you just go to insert click inside the table then go to design here draw the layout you take the pen so that you can be in a position to draw another line here in there and bring this ones closer alternatively alternatively the best thing here is to go to insert take a straight line here and then make sure you draw it outside here then turn it back good there we are because if you look at it here you will notice that there is that line then uh here after doing this one you need to hold the shift and minus sign shift and minus sign then also this one here you hold the shift and minus sign you can bring this ones backwards you also hold shift and minus sign shift and minus sign like that then save your work uh save your work like i have done therefore uh, we can just leave this one to our folder our folder is 2013 and therefore this is the invoice this is invoice there yeah. then then after doing that one you can now proceed to the next one the where you need to calculate the grad total here therefore for this case you need to multiply these two by going to layout then formula therefore formula here you change this one to product this one should be product 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 then you click on ok then you also go to this point you change that one to product 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 then you click on ok then ok have should be product i've just messed up somewhere should be product right product product left product left good then also the same formula here should be copied you copy that then go to this point here you paste you oh, no, no, no. you paste it in the formula stuff here formula you paste the formula here then you click on ok 
Here, after doing that one, you also need now to have the grad total here, which should be sum above. Therefore, just go to sum above. Therefore, that is the sum above here. Therefore, you have seen how I have gone about that one. Therefore, after doing that, you also need to have the grad total. This is the grad total uh, that I have done from that point. And therefore, that is how you are supposed to tackle the Microsoft Word question. Therefore, you can proceed to the next question. The next question is that the figure below shows an extract of a worksheet showing sales and expenses for a money company for the month of January to June. Use it to answer the question that follow. Therefore, this is what you have. This is your uh, question, uh, your staff here. Therefore, create the worksheet as it appears in the figure in a spreadsheet package and save it as income statement, nine marks. Use a function that references only to the sales to calculate total sales from January to June total for rent expenses and apply the formula to obtain the total for other expenses. Therefore, for that case, uh, I will just go ahead to where my work is. My work is in this folder. Therefore, I open that access, uh, that is Excel uh, question. Therefore, I just double click this one and wait for it to open. Therefore, you open Excel. Then, once you do that one, this is what you have. You have these ones. And then, you need to calculate the... Uh, first of all, you need to do something here. Therefore, you first of all merge and center this. Then, you make sure it is it is somewhere you can see. Then, this text of ours should be Times New Roman. Therefore, just go to Times New Roman. That's what we have. Then, this one is uh, a bit bigger, Kidogo. Therefore, what you need to do, go now to your question and answer the questions that for us. Therefore, uh, the first question is total sales for January to June. January to June. January to June. Total sales here. You just type equals, then sum, equals sum. You hit the first one, put full colon, hit the last one, press, uh, that is put the bracket at press center. Therefore, after doing that one, you get the total for that. Then, if to get the total for rent equals to sum, you open the bracket, you hit the first, uh, that is the first figure, semicolon, the last figure, cross the bracket and hit enter. Then from there, you need to pull these ones down to get the totals of uh, various categories. Therefore, these are the totals for various categories. Then from there, we go to the next question. The next question is um, the profit or loss for each month. Therefore, we just do that one. Profit or loss for each month. Therefore, what you need to do, profit or loss here. Just pull this a bit. Profit or loss here should be sales minus these expenses. Therefore, you need to do equals. Should be equals to this one equals to sales uh, minus minus you open the bracket it should be minus this one plus this one plus this one plus this one then you cross the bracket therefore this is the the profit then you just pull these ones across if we just pull that one across that way Therefore, you can the position to see the profit or loss. And in most cases, it is almost everything is a profit. Then, after doing that one, uh, those calculations there, you go back to the next question. Format the worksheet as follows. Match sales A2 to AH. Therefore, A2 to AH, I had done that. Therefore, just direct and then press this button here. Match and center. That's, this is the button you press, this one here. It is called merge and center. It's very important. Therefore, after doing that one, you can just go back to the next question. Resize the title to font 16. Therefore, resize to font to size for 16. Therefore, that one is done. Then from there, apply a single line border to all the cells containing data. Align the align right. 
and apply gray color to the column headings. Therefore, column headings, these ones, you apply a gray color, gray shading that is. Therefore, you just go to gray like that. Then you have been asked to uh, to assign border. In my previous tutorials, I have shown you how to put borders. You just go home. Then near font here, you just choose this one or border. That is for the single uh, for the single line border. Then rename the current worksheet to profit. If you just go to the current worksheet here, double click and type the word profit. Profit profit and then save your work then the next one uh, is insert okay the company is expected to limit 15 percent of their sales as taxes revenue to the revenue authority therefore insert a blank row below the sales row and uh, save it as that is the label should be uh, sales tax then compute the sale tax for general using absolute Cell referencing to obtain the tax to obtain the tax for the other months therefore what you need to do is to insert a row here which i have already done and therefore you the label for this one should be uh, tax should be tax therefore i see tax then you have been told that tax is uh, tax is which percent let's go and check should it be 15 percent therefore this means since you're using absolute cell reference should it be 15 percent 15 percent uh, 15 percent multiplied by now absolute therefore absolute you put a dollar sign you click the, the that is this is b5 therefore absolute b so time is absolute b should be times absolute b b then absolute five you see now it, it takes the value for january then you press enter that means now this formula of ours here is now in absolute 15 percent times this value that doesn't change and for that case i just need to pull these ones across and therefore the tax remains um the tax should be using this just a moment just a moment um, the company is expected to limit 15 percent of their sales therefore 15 percent should be the one uh, typed somewhere it is already typed here in b17 therefore i have made a mistake let's just go back should be absolute b absolute b then absolute 17 there we are you, you can see it has taken this value 15 percent then you multiply by you multiply by the, the value of january and you hit enter therefore then now you just pull across good there we are therefore those are various taxes that were supposed to be paid therefore to see the formula you just click on it then the formula appears up there then after um, checking on that one after checking on that one we can proceed to the next question that um calculate the profit or loss for each month after taxation if we just go back to this point here you can just do it uh, down here just, just a moment you can just do that one after taxation here if we can have or even below here uh, taxation taxation that is calculated the profit or loss therefore you can just do it here down here just first of all return the the borders it should not be merged therefore this one should be the profit should be just like we have done in the previous session it should be this one the profit that was minus minus the tax minus the tax here then you press enter then you you autofill therefore those are the new profits this is the new profit or loss new profit stroke loss after taxation you have seen it is this one minus tax 
Then we proceed, insert a blank row below the profit and loss and label it as comment. Therefore we do that. For just here, we insert a new we insert a new row. That way, that is our row. Then we, we just call it comment. That's what we have been asked. Therefore, from there, what do we do? Use the if function to display comments for the profit or loss as follows. Okay, profit or loss. More than 60, okay. More, okay. Uh, break even that way. Therefore, we just do that stuff. If we just go to this point here and we do that one, therefore equals to if you open the bracket, if that is if profit or loss, therefore if profit, that is this our new profit here, is greater than 60k, 6123, comma, therefore what do we have? We have OK, we have OK, we have okay else if now our profit that is in b17 is greater than 30k 30k comma then what do we have we have break even we have break even break even if you do that else else check else check then you cross the bracket and hit enter then here you just confirm by clicking on yes and therefore the first uh, thing here should be you just drag that therefore you can see what we have if i i take this if we increase this one somehow i'm just double clicking them so that the, our text can fill there we are you, you notice that uh, these are our comments as per this profit and loss here. I have used the new profit. Therefore, this is the new profit that is a point of my reference. Therefore, you have seen how I have gone about that one. To see the formula, this is the formula here. Also, remember, you can download these materials from my website. They are in a folder called KCC 2013 or 2013 KCC Practical Materials or Documents. You can still download that one there. Then, on the other hand, we can proceed to the next question. Create a bar chart to compute the sales and the total expenses for each of the six months. Then you are supposed to insert the chart title as sales expenses. Insert the x-axis as month. Insert the y-axis label as amount. Insert data labels for the sales series save it as comparison therefore we are supposed to create a chart uh, for sales and total expenses therefore we need to do to highlight this one for this for that is for the sales and total expenses therefore, first of all you need to you need to do the total expenses and for the total expenses here you can just type expense total expenses we have total expenses. The total expenses here equals to sum. You open the bracket, then you hit that one. You put the full column, you hit the last one, cross the bracket and hit enter. Then you take this ones and pull up to the end. Therefore, I'm supposed to do a chart for this one. You hold control and this one. You see how I have done? That is called selecting non adjacent cells. If I'm supposed to do a bar chart, therefore I just go to insert, then click this one, then I'm doing a bar chart. Therefore I'm doing a bar chart. This is my bar chart. And then this chart of mine, insert this one, save the new worksheet. Therefore I need to take it to the new worksheet, therefore I just click on this one. But before I do that, I can just do the editing here. Like now the chat the chat title here can do the chat chat title should be sales sales expenses expenses analysis analysis. 
that is the title of the chart then when you are here you can do a lot of uh, doing the uh, stuff here like now you can add this ones you see can the position to click this plus sign and then add whatever the examiner wants therefore x axis should be month axis therefore axis you have the axis therefore just hit it here I need to have the axis if I can just do that one the axis you can still use to utilize the part here if I just move the chart here and call it comparison first of all Com that is comparison comparisons then I click on ok therefore it will be moved into a new sheet therefore from here I can be the position to work uh, where on it therefore we need to in to bring the the chart access we need to, to bring the chart access somewhere therefore the best thing to do is to use the chart options therefore we need to have the this one the axis we need to add the axis and also other stuff here therefore you can also go to these ones or just use this plus here we need also to have the rigid the rigid should be okay that one we have not been asked if we need to have the data labels is part of what we have been asked insert data labels for the for the sales series if you can see they are being added here then we have the axis then for the axis we have this one here then this one is the y axis should be amount should be amount if I need to do something on that when we need to have the axis that one should be amount amount that is the axis how to label the axis and also how to label the headings from there we go to the next question the next question after labeling those ones is that you save it as comparison set the page orientation of the works uh, the worksheet named modified to landscape therefore you need to change the orientation up here to landscape therefore that one is how you go about it then the next thing is um, modifying showing the formula uh, this one you just go to profits and then press control tirade then you'll be in a position to get the formulas therefore this is the formulas and that is what the examiner uh, want you to do and therefore Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next session.